server and client side validation as well. Uh, so, just here. Uh, for done in public. Uh, new helper method that's going to be introduced as part of MVC 32. HTML enable client validation. <laughs> we got one important point, which is uh, if you're going to use JavaScript library, you also need to add references to the JavaScript library. So I'm going to add under this page right now to the master page jQuery, a new jQuery validation plugin that we're shipping, uh, as well as a helper library that we support. Um, hit refresh now, and it works. Uh, delete that. Delete that. Hit enter. And without posting back to the server, you now have automatic client-side validation. Um, also being picked up from your model validation rules. Enter Scott, tab away. Notice the error message disappears. Uh, add zero. Notice the price needs to be higher. Point one. Tab away. Enter. Away you go. Uh, so basically with that one line, you can now get both client and server-side validation. You're applying it to your model layer, which means that any place on your site that you're doing edits or updates, um, will automatically pick up the new change at any point that you change your model layer, and these changes will percolate everywhere within your app. Questions?